Hello, I am Kamari Parker from UNC Charlotte. Bishop Desmond Tutu was a South African activist that ended the apartheid. He has many great qualities that deemed him to be a good leader, some of which I feel like I possess, including being honest, open-minded, and strong-willed. He has inspired me by what he has done. I'm going into the healthcare field, which faced a lot of discrimination against people of color. As a future doctor, it will be my job to stop these disparities. By doing this, I can save lives and give people of color a safer environment when dealing with healthcare. Desmond Tutu once said, if you are neutral in the face of injustice, then you have chosen the side of the oppressor. This quote relates to me because I'm a person of action and I want to make changes in the healthcare system. Which is why is it that black newborns had three times the mortality rate than white newborns? And why is the same statistic true for the mothers? I cannot sit back and watch my people go through these injustices that can be avoided. I will fight for these injustices by advocating those messages in my community and make differences when I can. That's why joining this cohort is important to me. The experiences that I will gain from this fellowship will help me become a better leader, a better leader in social, social change. One that can empower and enable others to act while working to the common goal of ending inequality in healthcare and beyond. One of my most difficult leadership challenges was teaching someone who did not speak the same language as me. I currently work at a lab assistant job on campus, and one day my boss brought in his students and his colleagues to learn about our work. I was tasked with teaching everyone the sewing technique. And while that was a challenge in itself, the real challenge came from when I had to teach a Persian couple who only spoke the language of Frosty. I know I was not gonna be able to approach it as I did with everyone else's. I went a lot slower and prioritized the use of visual aids. This emphasized the idea that leadership is not a position, but a process. We had to collaborate and adapt to get the job done. And needless to say, their sewing came out perfect. This helped me define the leader that I want to be. I want to be able to be inclusive, overcome barriers, and be there for everyone. I like to use my platforms to promote positivity and to share information that needs to be heard and said. The world is filled with unpleasantry and with the creation of the internet, we are exposed to things that we may have never even heard or thought of. I would like to use this tool for a good purpose. As leaders and as citizens, it is our job to promote resources and to educate others. As a future physician, I would like to educate children, teens, and adults about things they need to know. Things such as the healthcare system, their bodies, and about racial disparities. Giving them this information can help them be heard and empowered. Not everyone can afford health care, but that doesn't mean that they don't have the right to be healthy. By doing this, I hope that we can come together as a community and inspire change. I plan on doing this in a way that people have access to it emphasizing the point of inclusivity and no one being left. The information is there, we just have to get it out. Controversy is bound to happen. Everyone is different and possesses different viewpoints, but when met with controversy, you must treat it with civility. If you know something is wrong and should be voiced, it is your job to speak on it even if it causes agitation. The quote by Frederick Del Douglass fits his perspective when he says, those who profess to favor freedom and yet depreciate agitation are people who want crops without plowing the ground. It shows that you cannot back down. If, if any of our civil leaders decided to back down, we would not be where we are today. They put their lives on the lines 
to fight for our freedom and their work is still not done. And with all of the accessories that we have now, it is up to us to follow in their footsteps. I have seen firsthand what oppression is like in the United States, which is why this fellowship is so important. I will be able to see oppression in a different lens aside from my American one. I will see how it is involved in their communities and how it is handled. And when I come back, I will be able to be an active citizen in my community and also in the global community. And I won't shy away from things when they get hard. Life is going to be hard regardless. It is hard being patient. We are supposed to be, have, be able to have trust in our medical professionals to listen to us and to cater to our needs. But in our white supremacist society, that trust is often breached when it comes to women and people of color. It is hard dealing with the battles of racism and discrimination and everything that I do. But I know as a future medical professional, which battle I want to fight. And that is one for my people.